It's funny that question, are we our genes? It's such an old question and it's such a misunderstanding. So many people think that yes, we are our genetic information and everything that's genetic and heritable is somehow unchangeable. And of course, that's not the way it is. Everything modern genomics and genetics are telling us is that you know, the genome is dynamic. The genome, our genes are not a straitjacket. They're like a nice soft sweater in a way. You can change them because they are forever interacting with environment. Genes don't only have to do with our physical appearance and diseases. They also shape our you know, mental habits, who we are, our psyches. And with respect to who we are, there's a great, or there are great examples of you know, the genome being very malleable. Um, from environmental influences. Like, there are genes that we know one variant will make you more sensitive to stress, it will make you more likely to develop depression if you are, you know, um, in stressful circumstances. And there are other variants that will make you more robust. You even talk about um, orchid children as opposed to the more robust um, dandelion children. And the way those genes work is that they don't dictate the way you become, the way you, you know, your psyche develops. But if you have the sensitive variants and you have, say, a bad childhood, mistreatment, um, then you have really high risk of developing anxiety, depression. If you have those same genetic variants but have a great childhood, you know, you come out really, really well. If you have the robust genetic variants, you seem to you know, do very well with both, both kinds of backgrounds. So it's, it's always a case of your genes interacting with your environment. It's a great question. If you, yeah, if you know your genes, will that affect you? Um, and a lot of people will say, if you know your genes or if you know your children's genes, for example, will it be self-fulfilling prophecies? Will you treat them in a way, if you know that they're you know, sensitive, genetically sensitive, and, and you treat them like you pamper them and whatever, uh, will they you know, grow into that role of being really, really sensitive? I would look at it the other way, really, that having knowledge of at least your own genetics and your predispositions um, is, in a way, empowering. I mean, it's, it's one more piece of the puzzle of you. If you know, for example, that you have genes that predispose you to uh, getting depressed or, you know, being anxious, then you can tell yourself, I mean, this is something that's in your biology. Your brain is tweaked in a slightly different way so that you react more negatively to you know, stress, whatever. So you can keep yourself out of stressful situations or you can tell yourself, just sort of don't be stressed about this. Maybe you have stressful circumstances, but, but so what? If you sort of, you can distance yourself from that stress, saying to yourself, okay, this is partly genetic. My reaction is partly genetically determined. So I just refuse to, you know, be dictated to by my biology. So I think it's, it doesn't have to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Rather, it's, it's personal empowerment. I know this about myself so I can, you know, shape myself better.